Dry So Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Monty from Five Nights at Freddy's. So let's get started. To draw this awesome gator, let's first start by drawing his cool sunglasses. So I'm going to come right here and basically just draw two stars right next to each other. So we're just going to come up with two angles and we're just going to do draw five of them. And if you need help drawing stars, definitely just Google my Draw So Cute How to Draw a Star video. So I'm going to come right here in the center and come right back out. So I'm going to come right next to it, just give myself a point, and from there I'm going to go right across and do the same thing. Go up and out. There, so I have my two um, stars in, and I'm going to come in here and just give both of these stars a little border. So I'm just going to come in and quickly just draw another star following my outside. There. Okay, so now that I have that, let's draw the bridge of our glasses. So right here, I'm just going to go ahead and just draw a slight curve to connect them. And then I'm going to come out right here and just draw this little part right here on the side. There. Okay, so now that we have that, let's um, come underneath these glasses and about right here. I'm basically going to draw his snout area. So I'm going to come right underneath these glasses and I'm going to draw a curve that aims towards the center. So we're going to come towards the center and then it's just going to come right back up right here. Just you want to wobble this curve right underneath. Then from there, let's bring this down. And bring this down to about, say, right there. And then we're just going to go ahead and connect at the bottom. And then we're going to wobble towards the center again and come right back out to create his snout. So just this shape right here. Then let's come back about right here. And I'm just going to draw an oval and shade it in right here. Two ovals. Then from there, let's come back to this part right here in the glasses. And let's say about here, the center of the snout. And I'm just going to pop out this curve for his cheek. And then straighten out and bring it in. So same thing here. Curve out for a cheek and then straighten out and bring it in. Just like the other side. Then let's draw the top of his head. So not too high up, stay about right here. Just give myself a point so I kind of know where I'm going. And this being my center, I'm going to come out, up, and down right there. So same thing here. Out and down there. And then right in the center, we're going to draw as a mohawk. So we're going to go up at an angle on both sides. And then just go ahead and connect it. And let's draw a curve right over his glasses for his brow. So just thicken up this curve in here as well. There, he's starting to look real cool, right? Okay, so then now we need to draw his mouth. So let's see here. Let's come about right here and here. Same thing on both sides. And we're going to come nice and low. So let's come about right here. And we're going to draw a little curve that's going to, and then it's going to come in and come down nice and wide. Because he is a gator, right? So come in and then start to straighten out. And about right here, I'm going to round it off and straighten out and connect for his mouth. And then let's draw the details. So let's come in here and we're just going to basically follow our outside. And same thing here. Come down, chin area, and then go right back up. And then now to draw his teeth. So I'm going to come to the top and I'm just going to fill it in wherever I can. So two big ones, and then I'll just zigzag my way across. And same thing here. Two big ones here, perhaps, and then some smaller ones. 
Oops, three. <laughs> there. Okay, so as long as we know he has teeth, right? So then from there, before I forget, I'm just gonna come right here and just give him some of his little markings right here. I have a feeling I'm gonna forget, so I'm just gonna come in here and blotch that in. And then now that we're pretty much done with his head, let's draw his body. So we're gonna come up about right here in this point, and we're going to draw a soft curve for his shoulders. So just gonna go, kind of go across right here. And then from there, I'm going to come down with a curve on both sides. So we're just kind of drawing his chest area. Then we're gonna bring this down. We'll make it nice and strong, right? So bring this down a little bit more. And now that we're pretty even, I'm going to go across to finish this off. I'm going to come with a curve and then towards the center. I'm going to give it a little notch about right there and then finish off my curve. There. Okay, so now that we know where his chest is, let's come back up here and we're going to pop out some these cool shoulder blades. So we're going to round this off and bring it right back in. So same thing here. I know these uh, characters are very complicated, so I'm always trying to draw the minimum, but also put in enough details to make it look awesome, right? So hopefully I'm doing that for you. So now that we have that in, let's come back to the body and we're gonna come in a little bit and we're gonna draw a slight angle. And then right in this space, so I'm gonna come right here, we're gonna draw kind of like this belt that he has, right? So in the center right here, before I finish the belt, since I'm using a Sharpie, I don't wanna erase, I'm just gonna come right here and draw a square for his buckle. But if you're using a pencil, just go ahead and finish that curve all the way across. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go across. And then let's pop this out for his belt. And finish it off step by step <laughs> layer by layer right and then um, let's come back down we're gonna go down again so we're now starting to draw his bottom part so let's come down once again right about here I'm just gonna give myself a little line from there I'm going to go ahead and connect with a curve so this is where his legs are going to start right there now to draw his legs, let's come back right here. And we're gonna pop them out. So let's keep going down. I'm just gonna work on this side to about right there. Then we're just going to connect it with a curve. So it's just like all my other uh, Five Nights at Freddy's uh, character drawings. And then we're gonna pop this out. And it's gonna get a little bit wider. And about right there, I'll stop. About right there. And then I'm basically going to go and curve across and draw these big gator feet. <laughs> okay, so about right there, I'm gonna come in. One, two, and three. And connect. And let's see here. Draw two curves right there. And then if you like, you can pop in some of these nails to finish the look. And then right here, I'm just gonna add a little notch. And so it's the same thing over here. So I'm basically just going to go ahead and draw the same exact thing on this side.
So now that we're done with his feet, let's come about right here and do the same thing, draw the same thing, put a little notch right here. Okay, and then let's come back here, draw a curve right here as well. And I'm gonna put in some details, draw a little angle line here and here, and another one right here. And I'm gonna come right across in this area, come down at this angle, pop out a little notch, and bring it in. So same thing over here, just come across, notch, and then bring it in. There, okay, so, oh, and then just add some circles right here for his belt detail. And now we can go ahead and draw his arms. So I'm gonna come right here and pop out. I'll end it about right here. So let's come right back here. One section, and then we're gonna come out with another section. Right there, and then we want his hands to end about right here. So now that I have this, I'm gonna come out and pop out this curve. And if you like, you can put in a little nail right here. Go back in, round it off. To draw the rest of his fingers, nice and big. And put in a little nail right there. Curve to finish it off, cut it off. And right here, it's connected. And put a little curve right there and then he has this bracelet that I'm gonna pop out. I'm gonna just draw some circles inside. There. And he has some of these uh, patterns right there. Now to draw his other hand. So let's come right here. We're going to do the same exact thing. So just same thing about right here. We're going to Cut it off, so about here. And come down one more. To about right there. Once again, cut it off. And then for his fingers. So we're just gonna pop out this curve, put in a little nail, round it off, and connect. And then we're gonna pop in this little nail right here connect and connect right here for some details and once again cut this and so of these patterns right there and then his bracelet once again so right here we're just going to pop out this curve and add some circles inside there and well, we still have a tail, right? I still have a tail we need to draw. So let's come about right here and we're going to just draw a curve. Try to simplify it, come down about right here. Pop it out. And about right here, we're just gonna go ahead and connect and round it off. Then let's go ahead and add some curves. Right here and then about some of these spikes right there and just add some more lines for some detail. Nothing too complicated. There. And then he has a bunch of patterns on his legs, but we'll do um, put that when we color it because it's just going to be a mess if I do that with a Sharpie. So they're all done. I really hope you love how Montgomery Gator here turned out from Five Nights at Freddy's and that I helped you draw him fun and easy. Thanks so much for watching. And if you loved it, please give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.